Can't you just use this recent photo? Mm. <clears throat> All right. Here you go. But they had all of this high-tech equipment here. They had four-wheel drive vehicles. That's a four-wheel drive tire track. Before we go any further into this conversation, I would like to remind everyone that the title of this video is The Firmament is Real. This is all supposed to be a video about the firmament. Now, going beyond that, apparently these marks in the stone are indicative of four-wheel drive motion how can he tell if something's two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive based on the marks in stone i'd like that explanation please they had these uh, bulldozer things that were cutting slabs of meat it's depressing to explain this to an adult but bulldozers don't cut things they move things likewise cutting flesh as in like this is actual flesh these people were walking on at the time not rock that's creepy. All those walls were made when the meat was wet. Now, Velikovsky did this work all around the world. And look at this. This is on Mars. This is the Mars interstitium. <laughs> That's skin. I've talked about interstitium and mud fossils' fascination with it in previous videos. So if you want more explanation, look at some of those. But in short, interstitium is a organ that rests right below the skin and is not rock. It does not turn into rock, but every single piece of geology that a mud fossil finds for some reason is interstitium. God forbid that rock be rounded in shape because then they're interstitium balls, which don't exist. And I show all this here. This is, this is the, the stuff that it starts as. And it stretches and pulls this way and that way. And this is what's on the surface of Mars. This is gathered skin and this is expanded skin. And this is eroded skin. I always provide links for my conversation points. His definition of interstitium is wrong. Interstitium is not skin. It is something below skin and it surrounds a lot of organisms. It doesn't bundle, it doesn't expand. None of this is a proper definition of interstitium, nor is it a definition of way of the way things fossilize, of what happens to skin when it fossilizes, of what happens to organisms when they fossilize. Fossilization is in and of itself an interesting subject. Check the comments, check the description, educate yourself a bit more on how this process actually works rather than listening to this blowhard go on and on and on about some picture on Mars that he knows jack shit about. And then I show the light, and I show light in particles. I show the particles of light. I show the light ex actually separating the black particles from the white particles. Mudfaust University loves to jump from topic to topic to tangent. Here, we went from four-wheel drive ancient vehicles to Mars is actually skin, to black and white particles of light. That's a broad spectrum of subjects. Eventually, I, will, I do plan on attacking the videos that dive specifically at these topics, but for sake of brevity, instead, right now, I'm going to tell you, he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Surprise, surprise, have you heard that one before? I am shocked. Shocked! Well, not that shocked. All right, so now I expect some answers. Now, they, and, and what I'm saying, and they see they technology space with NASA, security, and they, they say, ask your questions. Mud Fossil University absolutely loves harassing major institutes of education and places like NASA. He wants his demands heard by the best and the brightest because for some reason he thinks he has grounds to stand on. Again, I have other videos discussing this stuff at depth. I'm not going to get into it here because this is well-trodden ground for me. Really, literally nothing you were taught was correct. But they have knowledge. I'm not saying they don't have knowledge. I'm saying their knowledge was not is skewed because it was not taken with the correct underlying understanding. And if they won't allow for that, then they are, um, th 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 then they're lost. They're just whistling in the woods. 
If his points seem vacuous and empty, that's probably because they are. Mud Falser University does a very good job of giving his opinion and then not backing up his opinion and then complaining that people aren't taking him seriously. Add, repeat, ad nauseum for every single video he does. It's hard for me as a debunker, if you will, to address videos like this, aside from the hilarity of watching him suck so much, because he doesn't ever give you substance. There's no meat in his statements. It's all just fluff, stuff that makes you feel good. And that's an issue. Hey, where's the meat? I don't think there's anybody back there. The body is material, and the ancient thinkers all knew that matter passes away. Anything that is material is going to pass away and, and be destroyed and be gone. This, that, this is the most hugest point that you will ever hear because that is just a fact. Aside from taking a huge chunk of his video out for this topic, which has nothing to do with the firmament and is completely out of left field, as Mudfoss University tends to do, he is also neglecting and debunking his own primary argument. The name of his channel is Mudfoss University. His argument is the ground we walk on is the decayed fossilized remains of creatures of the past. Like, you are walking on the body of a big old giant. That's literally his argument. And then he goes to show this clip here, claiming... Anything that is material is going to pass away and, and be destroyed and be gone. And that doesn't make sense given his worldview. If everything goes away, everything that's matter and material goes away, how are we walking on the bodies of dead things? Shouldn't they have decayed and gone away? When you have the knowledge that we have, we are above all of the people that don't have this knowledge. So obviously we're reigning over them. Fresh reminder, I put these clips in sequential order. I try to trim the fat and cut out stuff that's boring or irrelevant, but the clips are in sequential order nonetheless. Mud Falsy University plays you a clip about a professor talking about the Gospel of Thomas, an apocryphal text, I will add, and Mud Falsy University wants to emphasize that everything goes away, everything decays, nothing stays around. This, that, this is the most hugest point that you will ever hear. And then he wants to try to tell you that you're walking on the bodies of things that have decayed and died, but not gone away, instead turned to stone and will be here for a long time. And then he wants to lord that as some sort of special knowledge over you. Like he is in a position of authority, intellectually speaking, because he butts ideas together that directly conflict with each other. It's it's impressive. I enjoy making these videos to watch him flail about so hilariously bad. I enjoy it. I hope you do too. Fuck it. It's a fucking field goal. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! So this is the Nag Hammadi text. And Jesus said, keep looking until you find. When you find, you're going to be disturbed. And here's my point. I, I, I want to point this to President Trump. Surely you can't be serious. If somehow someone could have him understand, this is the moment in history that is very few and far between. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. And we could right a terrible wrong and create equality for everyone to be seen as equals. The bombast gets more and more bombastier. Mudfoss University has found the solution to the world's problems in an apocryphal text by watching a lecture given by a Yale professor. Somehow, this is all in a video about the firmament. I don't know, this goes so far off the rails it's hard to keep track. What am I supposed to debunk here? What am I supposed to respond to here? Someone get a hold of the President of the United States of America quick, some kook who likes to poke Feathers into his monitor has solved all the world's issues by finding giant dragon skeletons in the northern parts of Africa and claiming that the Aztecs chopped down 
flash rocks with bulldozers that were four-wheel drive. Everything I just said is a statement he makes. What am, I, what am I supposed to do, right? It's so good. And at one point in time in history, that was the way it was. And then it became separated. And that's when you started to get into one group looking down on another. And, and that's where we, we have been for forever. And, um, and this is the moment in history that would you'd be remembered for President Trump. Matthew 15, 24. I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Somehow you maybe aren't quoting the right guy here if you want to talk about togetherness and inclusivity. Not to mention, history isn't exactly known for working well with others, right? I mean, it doesn't take a good dive into history to find out that togetherness and holding hands isn't a big part of it. But hey, what do I know? I just think rocks are rocks. Obviously, I must be an idiot, right? This is pretty, this is deep stuff. So we are eating dead things right now. I guarantee you, every single thing you eat came from something that was alive and is now dead. Hmm. Really makes you think.